To move towards a circular economy in batteries, we need to start to connect the different parts of the battery life cycle to make sure that we're not just reliant on primary sources of these materials, but we also have secondary sources, particularly the cobalt, lithium, graphites that are part of that critical materials list for Europe. There's actually quite a few things that we can do to improve the sustainability of the battery. I'm Professor Emma Kendrick. I'm Chair of Energy and Materials here at the School of Metallurgy and Materials at the University of Birmingham. In the Energy Materials Group, we're really interested in sustainability as the bigger picture. One of the key things is the lifetime and performance, and we're developing the electrochemical methods to look at the cells in life and as they're made, to see whether we can monitor and control them and actually then understand the batteries which are in use. So there are many materials that we can reclaim from cells and batteries. This is a pouch cell. In this, we have our electrodes, which contain active materials, graphite for anode, layered oxide, for cathode. The cathode contains nickel, cobalt, and manganese. We have a plastic separator in between the anode and cathode. And then we have an electrolyte, which contains LiPF6, so lithium, phosphorus, and fluorine. What I've got here is some aspects of what we've got from shredding. Here you can see some of our copper, which still has some of the graphite on. Graphite is also really important because it's one of those critical materials I mentioned. This can be reprocessed and remanufactured back into a battery again. It's called direct loop recycling. Materials are very important. We've spoken about critical materials and their use in batteries. We can substitute for those or we can use less of them. Manufacturing is also important. One of the solvents we use is N-methylperilidone, which is pretty nasty. If we can start to use water-based solvents and more green solvents and different binder systems, we can create greater sustainability within our manufacturing processes as well. Considering that, if we use water or green solvents, it means that when we come to the end of life, it's also easy to reclaim. <laughs>